about the Cantari? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. This is the first production model that we've seen here in the U.S. This boat we're really stoked on because 18 foot 3 inches right now, lighter, easier to pick up. Just yesterday turning around in the wind, it was much easier than the Kahele and it's only a foot shorter. So the maneuverability, the management of this canoe, taking it to the water, and even once you get on the water is really, really good. Right, so smaller people are gonna love this thing. It's really quick up to speed, which we're stoked on, and it seems to carry. We tried to keep the deck as sleek as possible, and if you look at the rails, they roll down pretty quick, and that gives your eyes a nice visual of when you sit on top of the canoe, that it feels fast to you. It's easy to look at. And another thing, when you roll the rails down close to the boat, you can get the paddling nice and close. So that's kind of one of the thoughts here. We did away with the foot cover and we did away with the adjustable foot brace. We figured built for smaller people, we don't need a huge variety of movement on the hull, but we also lost three pounds. So I think the pros are coming in around 15 pounds. So when you pick it up, you feel it. When you carry it, you feel it, which is nice. Front bungees here, back bungees there. The front Yako we moved up as far as we can get it in the deck because in some of the videos on our other canoes you get a little bit of water in the surf hitting the Yako we figure that slows you down so we pulled this up to the top. Same Alma for now, it seems to ride nice. 16 and a quarter outside to give you enough space for your hips but not too tight that it feels like it's binding you in here. So the feedback we have so far right now is that I'm snug but I'm not too tight. On the inside of the cockpit we did a single drain but the bullet drains are a lot less resistance in the water. They cut down the drag. Uh, this canoe pulls the water out really quick on the footwells. The foot pedals are longer. The foot base of where the foot pedal goes is much lower for smaller feet. We've had a lot of complaints over time with people with really small feet like Kahele having a hard time reaching those pedals, so we address that. If you take a look at it upside down, it looks very much like a K1 hull. You know, with a K1 background, understanding that they're the fastest kayaks out there, kind of the fastest hulls I feel on the water. Very round, very smooth very tight um, so at the beam here that's not too wide at the water line we actually had to come out to the sides which is kind of nice it gives you a reserve buoyancy when the waves come just to get to the seat at 16 inches the main thing about this canoe is you have low volume very rounded hull and that usually equals speed 18 foot 3 inches everybody thinks maybe the boat's too short maybe it's not gonna go but if you really look at it the Kaheli with 125 pound person on it maybe 130 pounds Water line's down about 17 foot 6, 17 foot 7. You put that lighter person on a bigger boat, it can be 20 foot 8, but that water line's still creeping way in off the ends because it's just volume and holding the person up. So at 18 foot 3 inches, we've got roughly 17 4, 17 5 inch water line. So about an inch to two sh inches shorter than the Kahele, but much narrower hull. Cecily gets in the canoe, she loves it. It's small, it fits me, it jumps up to speed quick, I feel like it's faster, it's easier to carry. Danny Ching in it, he actually really liked it as well. Kind of the perfect test machine. He's such an accurate gauge on everything and he has all the numbers that he sends me. So in the flat water, it tells me the canoe does have that glide. It does have that carry. We'll see, there's a lot more testing that needs to be done on this canoe, but the fact is out of the hole, first time on it, it seems to be a little bit faster in the flat water and way more easy to manage.